Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Blue Lotus Gardens. If you're new here, my name is Blue Phoenix, my pronouns are they, them. I make fun planty videos for my found knowledge and then should also share with you all a plant vlog on Wednesdays of what I do behind the scenes of my plant shop, Blue Lotus Gardens, located in Fort Worth, Texas. So if that's something that you like, I recommend subscribing, liking my videos, and then commenting down below. That all helps me grow my channel. I always um, am happy to engage with um, you all down in the comments. All right, let's get on to the video. In today's video, you might have seen in my vlog um, or in my pre previous video um, that I received these reverse variegated plants. This one's a uh, Burl Marks, and then this one's a Syngonia um, Albo. So this, so there's um, some leaves over here that um, are totally green. You see over here, there are some leaves that are. Um, more variegated so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save the variegation from it and then also uh share with you all later on in the um uh, later on in updates there if the new growth has been um, is variegated or not i'll share with y'all this one the syngonium albo there's a lot of like parts that are still variegated and then some that are not. So as you see, like that, there's like still a little speckling there. This new growth over here is, uh, is variegated. So I, I, the plant wants to still continue on its variegation. So I'm going to propagate this one also. And then I'll, and then, um, you'll see in a future vi um, update video on how they've, uh, are and if I've recovered some of the variegation from the plant as well. I think it's really cool and um, this is really fun and exciting for me so I've been wanting to do this uh, kind of like variegation try to get into like variegated plants and then just experiment with them and then also like see what they have and like just really learn from them. So first I think the easiest one to identify would be the um, Syngonium Albo. And then I have like sterilized my scissors in alcohol, so y'all, um, y'all know. And I think the f I think it's important to see where the variegation starts, right? So... already rooted into his soil so what I wanted to do first is um, grab some part of it that's variegated so I can ensure myself that some of the part of the plant can still continue on its variegation I think it's really pretty to have and then um, also just really experiment and then for future trades you never know what I can do so don't want to damage the root but I think the root is all the way down under here So I'll move that over there. I see that it's other part right here is variegated. So I wanted to make sure where I was cutting what I was cutting into. You know what I mean? Like if it's going to be variegated or not. So I want to start all the way from the base of it basically. And remove the part that's not variegated. This is what it was. And as you see here. This foliage is not variegated. Neither is this, neither is this one, nor this new growth over here. I'm gonna chop it up anyways and then just see um, what comes out of it, you know? I think it's really cool to just keep on experimenting and just seeing what comes out of it. Regardless if it's variegated or not, I just think these are cool to have. They're easy plants to uh, maintain and also just to kind of like uh, own. This one was like new growth, but I think it's, it's totally fine. Just pop you in here immediately. And these like a uh, like very bright, like light bright, like medium bright indirect light. And I'm not, and I'm also not a hundred percent sure if like if you um, add 
more light to it, uh, more variegation will come out of it. I know that for sure it's DNA structure, so it's just like it's in its it has to be like in the stem of it. But I want to experiment, you know. That's just that's just how I am. <laughs> And then my theory is like, what if I just cut back all of the foliage that is not variegated? Will there be like new variegation from the, all the new growth that I just cut out of it? Or the, from all the, that I just cut out of it? Because as you see right here, I'm leaving it mostly with uh, just the variegated parts of it. And seeing what comes out of it, you know? As you see from this one, this is variegated. Um, but this part is not. So I'm going to remove this part from it. I'm just going to see what comes out of it, you know? You do want to be careful when you're cutting this one because it does um, kind of contain uh, that sappy, like a, a sap to it. So you just want to be careful with that. Okay, so I left it a little bit with uh, this, this one, this one. And then these two to help it produce some photos like to photosynthesize itself um, just to really see what it is and i think in like in a month or so there'll be a new growth and i'll share with all that with you all and i'm just really excited just to kind of like start doing like variegation projects basically these is this is what i call it because i really want to be more knowledgeable into this and understand it more so i just i appreciate um everybody also like helping me out with like their trades and all this fun stuff keep cutting this up so i have like two cuttings that are variegated two cuttings that are variegated and then these are not so we'll see what comes out of it and then we have this little one that i i showed y'all that i left like that next we're going to do the um row marks I've been really wanting to get one of these. I think these are really cool. I love the glossy leaves. Um, they're just super cool. And then their new foliage is just amazing. So I want to start at the very bottom of it to see if I can prefer, preserve some sort of variegation from it. So there's some with like some variegation on it. And just hold on to that. So this one did not have any variegation from on it. So I'm going to remove this one out of it and see what it grows. So I'm, I'm left with like this and there's like new growth still coming in and out of that little, out of all this chunk. And this, this one is slightly variegated, just a little bit right here, mostly green. So I was like, it, it should be fine. And then this leaf is variegated, so we're just gonna see what comes out of the out of the next ones. And I think it's really exciting just to keep on like working on this and uh, seeing what this might produce. So here are all the ones that have reverted. I'm gonna place them in water soon. These are all the syngoniums. Uh, next, all the ones that are variegated, I'm gonna place them here. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching my video. Um, I'll share with y'all updates on how things are going. Um, these plants um, will probably be more will first start to be introduced to my Patreon plant club. So you'll see them later on on there added to there first. Um, and then I'll start to add like larger, more varieties to, uh, to the actual store. As always, I appreciate you all so much for helping me grow my channel and then also supporting me on my Patreon my shop. Also my merch, I really appreciate y'all so much for uh, purchasing that and just really supporting all, all, all sorts of ways. Um, it's really helped me grow my channel, support the, uh, support my plant shop and doing so many different things. And then I just really am so happy to like just be able to wake up and 
do this and share all my experiences with you all. Have an amazing day out there. Thank you all so much. Uh, bye everyone.